The art of setting is in the wrist. Our ability to maneuver through the ball at the appropriate angle and tempo will get our hitters in the best possible position every time. An often overlooked key to setting is understanding how our elbows influence the wrists and the outcome of the sets. When we're setting to the pins, our elbows should be at our standard 110 degree angle on contact. This ensures correct hand placement so we can deliver the ball long distances. The key here is to extend our elbows through the ball without retracting to 90 degrees and then going back out. Depending on your age and strength, your elbow extension will vary. If you're in college, you'll be able to use your wrist to create speed so the elbows won't extend fully. If you're a younger player, you'll likely need to finish your arms completely straight to get the ball all the way out since your legs and body will lack some critical strength. For one ball, our elbows turn into shock absorbers. They should be slightly bent to allow the ball to come in clean and allow our wrists to redirect the ball based on spacing and height of the middle's attack. Being stiff here will cause the ball to ricochet or deaden and being too bent will create a setting motion that will likely result in more of a two ball height and tempo. On a tight pass, we actually want to extend our arms to redirect the ball. The pass will be out of reach, so we need to go up and go get it. The elbows being locked will send the ball back on our side and hopefully into the middle's hitting zone so they can at the very least redirect the set over the net. No matter what age, there will be times when we want to fully extend the elbows through the ball. This is necessary when we're setting a three and when we're off balance. For the three, our speed is critical as we're trying to remain at the first tempo speed but needing to send the ball a farther distance. Especially if we're off the net, releasing our shoulders and elbows is the only way to successfully get the ball to the middle. So if you're setting the pins, a one ball, a tight pass, or being creative, make sure you understand the situation and the key components that will allow you to deliver the best ball.